We want to return now to one of our top stories this afternoon. The 2018 Canada's Walk of Fame inductees celebrated this afternoon over at the Sony Centre. Uh, we'll bring in CP24's Christina Tanalia, who's on the red carpet for us. And Christina, this is so exciting. There are celebrities there, but it isn't only that, as you mentioned. These are our incredibly accomplished Canadians. Yes, including Colonel Chris Hatfield, who just walked the carpet. He's an inductee in the science and technology category. So there are various categories, including the sports category. And right over here, you're going to sneak over my shoulder. Of course, Canadian ice dancing sweetheart Scott Moyer and Tessa Virtue. They're being inducted into the Canadian or into Canada's Walk of Fame today. Uh, what an incredible opportunity for them. A little bit, bit of background. The first, they are the first North Americans to win the Olympic gold medal for ice dance at the 2010 Vancouver Olympic Games. They were also the youngest and the first team to win a gold medal at their first Olympic Games. And I got to tell you, you. Right over here, Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg. Uh, funny man Seth Rogen, if you remember quite recently, was the voice for the TTC public service announcements. That campaign came about when there was a, a bit of a Twitter campaign going on where people said, hey, let's get a Canadian actor or Canadian celebrity to be the voice of the TTC after uh, Seth took over hosting duties for the, the, the Vancouver Transit out west in BC. I'm just laughing because I think it's just great to see these guys, and ladies and gentlemen, all dressed up, so proud. And what is a truly Canadian spot here? It might be difficult to tell, but we are actually outdoors right here on Front Street. You can see the trees right here. Those are the actual Front Street <laughs> trees. Uh, Scott, Tessa, hi, Christina from CB24. Congratulations. Hi. We're live here on CP24. Oh, that's what we do on Hi, everybody. The DVP's Hi. looking good. <laughs> Thanks so much. So how does this feel? And I'm asking you that specifically because you guys are young, right? <laughs> As opposed to some other inductees. Oh, that yes. Say that again. But sometimes when you think of, a, you know, an award like the Walk of Fame, it's something that comes later on in life. So, yeah. I mean, did it surprise you that this was now? Yes. Yeah. I think it would have surprised us no matter what age we were, but um, it is an honor and, and it kind of speaks to the support that we've gotten uh, from Canadians across the country and uh, in an amateur athlete's career it's it's uh, we can't say enough how important that support is that's carried us through in the hard days and and uh, you know obviously celebrated with us in, in the in the accomplishments and good days how does it feel Tessa you're right it, it feels soon yes. <laughs> because we haven't even had time to reflect since since February but it's remarkable the support we've received from Canadians and this is an incredible honor I mean in a way, it's the perfect way to cap off 2018, and it does allow us a chance to reflect on, on what we've been able to accomplish as Canadians and, and celebrate this with so many others that we have such genuine respect for. I mean, first people's choice, and now this is unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there's still more to come for you guys. You just announced a few days ago a follow-up tour. Yes. yes, we're very excited about that. We had so much fun uh, on the Thank You Canada tour, which went coast to coast and into some communities that skating hasn't been to in, in too long. So. Uh, we're really looking forward to bring something fresh. Uh, we're very competitive people, so on, in, in the first tour that we did, now we want to kind yeah. of improve it and, and get going. So uh, we got we got a, we yeah. got work to do here. We're, we're already thinking bigger and better. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations to you both. So great to see you. Always big smiles. I mean, people must stop you on the street and say hello all the time. I hope so. I mean, we we always like to meet new people, so yeah. we encourage people to. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations on this. Congratulations, guys. We'll be you. seeing you a little bit later on. Thank you so much. Uh, so we're going to look ahead right over here. We have Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg. Uh, as I was saying earlier, these guys are childhood friends. And together, they sat there and thought, wow, wouldn't it be funny if we told the story of what it was like when we were younger? And that is the flick, which I love, super bad. Uh, so, you know, Seth is someone who, he's a Canadian funny man, but he truly is Canadian when you consider that he, he often speaks about being Canadian. He is proud of his home country. And as I noted recently, the voice of the TTC until quite recently because I would <laughs> when I've been on the TTC recently you don't hear him. Evan, a lesser known you could say, is his producing and writing partner and they're here together. Seth, Evan, Christina from CP24, hi. Congratulations. We are live. I just want to let you know here in Toronto. Oh great. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, no. <laughs> Scream profanities right now Evan. <laughs> Everyone you know. Scream them. <laughs> Congratulations to you both. Did you take the TTC here? No. No TTC. No TTC here. Is it still happening with your voice? No, no, no that's they, they took it away. But that was cool. That was great. It was lovely. 
So I want to ask you about this, because uh, as the CEO of Canada's Walk of Fame says, mo a lot of people know Seven, but they don't know the genius that is Evan and the producing partnership. Tell us about your friendship, because this goes back to thinking about when you're kids. Hey, wouldn't it be funny if we told the story of Superbad? I think our friendship is most like Romeo and Juliet. It is. <laughs> our parents forbade us from hanging out. I was more yeah. on the west side of Vancouver. Yeah. He was on the east side, but we came together. Yeah. It ends happier. Friction makes fire. What does this mean to you guys? It's nice. It's, it's incredible. It's <laughs> literally something I never considered could happen. And then when it did, I was shocked and I'm still very shocked. Yeah. And the fact, yeah, that we're being, I mean, anything that, any anytime I'm in the same breath as, Le, as Leonard Cohen is, is a real victory for a Canadian Jewish person. Do you, do you, the timing of this, you guys are young guys. I mean, did you, are you surprised that this came now? We're young, but I think we look very old and they can tell we probably don't have a lot of longevity yeah, in our this future. Is like we, they we, look at us we, and they're like, yeah, we better get this in there. We are peaking or have peaked. Exactly. And the best <laughs> is not to come. Yes, no, we've done we've done what we've come to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, on that note, I know we got to wrap up. What's next for Seth and Evan? Uh, we have breakfast tomorrow, yeah, probably. Yeah, we have breakfast together. <laughs> Maybe poutine after the event. The exactly. hotel has poutine. A, a larger <laughs> scale, what fans oh. can look forward to. Uh, we have many movies and TV shows we're producing and writing and directing uh, coming out. Keep so out. just keep looking for our stuff. Congratulations <laughs> to you both. Thanks for chatting with us. Seth Rogen, Evan Goldberg. I'm going to step aside so you can still see them. Uh, again, if you miss us, they're off the top. Uh, Evan is best friends with Seth, uh, or at least very close friends, as you can tell from their, their chats over there <laughs> with me. Uh, they are buds, and they are producing and writing partners. And the CEO of Canada's Walk of Fame said, I, I want to honor them both, because there's not Evan without Seth, and there's not Seth without Evan. So there you go. They're being inducted today in the arts and entertainment category. Congratulations to them. Back to you. That was so much fun to watch. Okay, Christina Tanaya doing a great job on the red carpet for us this afternoon. Thanks, Christina.